Friends, every day millions of people use internet data by connecting to public hotspots, and today hotspot has become an essential part of public infrastructure and our internet experience, and you also come every day through hotspot, your friends. And keep sharing data with family members, right? But if you don't, or you don't know what a hotspot is, and how it works, or if you have any question about hotspot, then you have to watch this video to get the answer, because in this video we are going to give you all the necessary information related to hotspot. So must watch this video till the last. So let's start, and first of all, what is a hotspot? Friends, a hotspot is a specific location that is connected to a wireless local area network, i.e. W, A, N, provides internet access through and through this, users can connect their smartphones and tablets to the internet without a wire. That is, Hotspot provides internet to wireless devices using Wi-Fi. Hotspots can be in private locations as well as in public locations such as airports, coffee shops, hotels, hospitals, libraries, supermarkets. Sometimes the difference between Hotspot and Wi-Fi is not understood, so today it is we know it too. Wi-Fi is the technology that allows your smartphone or computer to access the internet through a virus connection. It uses radio signals to send and receive data between your enabled device points. Wi-Fi is a wireless communication technology used for local area networks. Whereas Hotspot provides internet to wireless devices using Wi-Fi. Well this is fine, but what is this mobile hotspot, so mobile hotspot is also called portable hotspot. And you can create a mobile hotspot by using your smartphone's data connection to connect your laptop to the internet. These devices connect to cellular networks such as 4G, 5G, and devices that cannot connect to cellular networks can connect to mobile hotspots using Wi-Fi. Mobile hotspots act as a bridge between your device and your cellular network. Let us know further in the video, two types of hotspots. The first is a free hotspot, the second is a commercial hotspot, a free Wi-Fi hotspot allows all users to access the internet from the same network, and the commercial hotspot charges a fee for wireless coverage. And when connected to the commercial hotspot, the user is redirected to login information or payment details. But if you want a hotspot that is available in every location, then you can use portable Wi-Fi hotspot for this. Inside this device is a mobile router, and it can be used to connect multiple devices at once, without having to download any additional software to the device. But the question is, are hotspots secure? The answer is yes, and no, because if it is used without ensuring the security of hotspots, then your work life and personal life get caught in the clutches of hackers. And your identity could be stolen. It is very easy for hackers to distribute malware through an unsecured Wi-Fi connection, so it becomes very important to avoid it. Only then, while using a public Wi-Fi hotspot, connect your smartphone or laptop to refundable providers. And while using public Wi-Fi, you have to keep all these things in mind. Before entering a public network, turn off your device's Bluetooth. Switch off file sharing on your device. Animate the firewall on the device, install anti-malware software with anti-snatching protection on your device, turn off the Wi-Fi auto connector settings. If you keep these things in mind, then you can get secure hotspot facilities. And if you're concerned about public Wi-Fi hotspots, you should create a VPN, virtual private network, in which you can access the internet through an encrypted connection. This will greatly reduce the risk of hackers, but will certainly slow down the speed of internet access, as encrypting your transmitter data will require processing power, which will slow down the speed. That is why before using VPN, also think about the speed issue. By the way, when anything is available for free, then one must think, what is the reason for this, and something similar applies to free hotspots as well, that why this free facility is given, let us tell you, free Wi-Fi. Or by offering public Wi-Fi, more customers start getting, and sales also increase, and by offering free Wi-Fi, the government gets the benefit that free Wi-Fi is provided in the city. The chances of economic development, job creation and revenue generation increase in that city are increased, and the benefits to the citizens are that citizens working from remote location can easily complete their work. Students with low-income family background for this, it is possible to do online learning, and the number of tourists visiting such a place also increases significantly. So if we talk about the disadvantage of this public Wi-Fi that offers so many benefits, 
then it has no reliability, which is a major security issue, low speed, and maintenance issues. Therefore, while using public Wi-Fi, do not visit any sites that are not secure. Use multiple passwords and usernames to keep your confidential information secure. Similarly, freeloaders on portable hotspots can cause security issues, so use a secure portable device that provides proper security with data encryption and is not easy for hackers to access. Friends, in this way you can keep your data secure and use hotspots properly. How did you get this information? Do tell by writing in the comment box. If you have any question, then please tell and always keep getting such informative, innovative and beneficial information from time to time, so you subscribe the channel, and simultaneously press the speak icon, so that every notification reaches you first, see you again very soon, thank you till then.